Welcome to my crib. Welcome to our house. This is our future house. So Lovely's gonna have a guest bedroom upstairs. And my husband's stay up there. Yes, up here. It's a king size uh, bungalow style bedrooms. You know, follow yes. us. And I'm just drinking some fresh tea from our, our Chef Rose. Yes. Chef Rose really takes care of us here. Follow. Look a day over 26. I really attested to the Haitian sugar cane. You know, the friends tried to steal it from us. <laughs> Got a lot of breath, but this is, this is how you stay young and fit and hot. <laughs> Got a couple of my girlfriends. We went to college together. They're staying in the guest bedrooms. And, uh, my husband went over to the city to pick up some beverages. So, uh, this is a little grand tour. This is our foyer. <laughs> you know, 25 years of doing this, I still get a little out of breath. This is our foyer. Sometimes we have coffee here in the morning. This is our bedroom. This little has been really loved to have guests. This is our my friend Maisha, 45 years. 45 years old. Hello. Maisha is also 65. I'm 65. Because she, and she looks as great. Black don't cry. Because black don't cry, and also Haitian sugar cane, like I said. So, <laughs> that don't crack either. This is, uh, this is the couch we have. We have our, our night tea. Um, as you can see here, we have our lovely kitchen, fully functioning kitchen. kitchen. The fridge is the fridge, the fridge is empty. Isn't that shocking for a Haitian? Nice and cold. Oh, I feel that. Feel that air, you know. The sugar cane on the bottom. Huh? We got sugar cane, fresh coconut, and waters, and casa for all our guests. You know what I'm saying? So. This is really just a clay kitchen. Rose does all the cooking in here. Yes. I cook on special occasions. <laughs> then here's our second guest bedroom. Right here, we have one of our guests in here. My friend, my Maxine, of 45 years as well. Let's check on her. Yes. <clears throat> How you feeling, love? We bought okay. you some, we, we bought you some fresh Tea. I'm just doing a video here for Architectural Digest. <laughs> I was telling them how we've been friends for 45 years and how we all look great at 65. It's hot. It's hot, dear. Be careful. That's Haitian clove tea. Natural remedy. Oh my god. Natural remedy. And then, uh, that's so cute. We've got, you know, the bathroom's a little messy right now. We have guests. Yes. But it's functioning. Water works. You know, my favorite part of this, our AC is from Korea. And this is my favorite aspect of the house. We have it in both the bedrooms. It's a wicker basket style lampshade. As you can see, it's massive. If you come in here, come, come. Come here. Come take a look. You have one to bulb. Look at this. One bulb. One bulb, but it lights up the whole place because the wicker basket functions as light it up. a sun. Let me light it up for you. Wow. 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 Look at that. Wow. wow. You just feel like a newborn uh, chicken coming out of an egg. Tell me about the furniture. The furniture is all traditional Haitian carpentry. My grandfather actually built all of these, all of the ones in here and the ones in Montjoly. This is a traditional Haitian style piece. And then here you have just, you know, very, very resemblant of Western African metal sculptures from Benin. Um, these are actually from Benin. My husband and I traveled there last year. This is traditional Haitian painting. You know, as you can see, this is old school cap before the gangsters got involved and now it's dirty. But 
this is what I do up on. So uh, come, come take a final look at what we look at every morning, my husband and I. Take a look. How could you not, how could you not love Haiti? How, how could you not love this? How could you not love Haiti when this is what you wake up to every morning? Thank you, Architecture Digest. Come again.